So you're asking yourself, what kind of side hustle can I do? I asked myself the same thing several years ago and I found a great business model that I'm gonna share with you that offers a tremendous opportunity to not only generate good money, but to do it without spending a whole lot of time. Get ready. The side hustle that I'm gonna share with you in this video is one that doesn't require a whole lot of work. In fact, if you do it the way I recommend it, you can do it in four weekends a year, one weekend per quarter, and basically only need to spend a few nights, a few weekends leading up to those weekends, and you can easily generate at least six figures with this model. What I'm talking about is a online or even in-person retreat based business model. So you'd be doing one retreat every quarter, a three-day retreat, and then from that three-day retreat, inviting people to join a community or a membership or a mastermind program that you can run in the evenings or weekends in the rest of your time. And the thing is that this model is so effective and so joyful and fulfilling that it might enable you to even leave your full-time hustle and turn this into a full-time hustle. So let me share with you a little bit about my story and how I transitioned from turning my side hustle into my full-time hustle. So about six years ago, I had a very labor intensive business. I was self-employed. I didn't have a job at the time, but it was like I had a job and I was my own worst boss ever. I didn't take weekends off. I didn't take vacations. I worked early in the morning, late at night. I was always hustling. And what I was doing was very, like I said, labor intensive. I had to work in order to make money. I actually had a breakdown in 2014 where I got really sick. I was exhausted, tired. My business started to fall apart because I had to keep feeding it constantly. So I met a mentor who was running these three day live in person retreats. And he invited me to come and attend his retreat in New York City, which I did. And while I was there, not only did I have a breakthrough around my own business, whereby I realized that I was a slave to my business and I had not built a business at all, but I had built really a job for myself. I also had the breakthrough or the aha moment that I really liked his business model. I loved being in that retreat and I thought to myself, I think I could lead these business retreats myself. And so I asked him if he would teach me how to run the model and he said yes. So I paid him for this, of course. And what ended up happening was I still had my business, but I decided to add this retreat on as a side hustle. I basically said, listen, what do I have to lose by scheduling a retreat 45 days from now, doing my best to fill it, and see if I can turn this into something. Now, by the way, I forgot to mention that what made this business model so appealing was that he not only did the three-day retreat, but then in the middle of the retreat, he invited people to join him for a one-year program. And there were 10 of us in the room and seven people, not including me initially, I was the eighth person, signed up to work with him for a whole year. Now I did the math. He was charging a lot of money every single month for that year long program. And I realized that that guy was making more money in that weekend than I made in the entire previous year. And so that's the magical model that you can take on as a side hustle. You can create a three day retreat of some sort. And by the way, I have all sorts of videos, highly recommend subscribing to my channel and checking out some of my playlists on how to make a retreat based business. But you can take a three day retreat once a quarter, put 10 people into it, charge a couple thousand dollars. Now, by the way, I know that might scare some people, but I actually tell you in some of my other videos how to price your retreat or how to build your retreat so that it's worth that price point. And then from that retreat, that 2000 or so dollar retreat, how to sell into a longer term, big back end business model. So my story, back to my story, I did this. I held my first retreat 45 days later. I had 10 people in the room and two people signed up for my one year program. Now that might not sound like a lot to you, especially since I just told you that my mentor enrolled seven and then eventually eight people into his one year program. But for me, it was the first time that I'd ever created monthly recurring revenue in any significant quantity. Within five months of doing my first retreat, I held 
two more retreats and I had 10 people in my program, 10 people paying me every single month. Within a year, I had over 25 people in my program paying me every single month. So that's a side hustle that eventually became my full-time hustle. And I actually was able to pack up my car and leave Miami and start traveling. I did a road trip around the country for almost a whole year because I no longer had to be in Miami doing all these trainings and workshops and all the stuff that I had been doing before. This model became my full-time hustle and it liberated me from all the other work that had been draining me and overwhelming and exhausting me. By the way, here we are six years later and I'm still running this business model. And not only am I still running it, I've simplified it. That first year I ran 11 retreats and I was pretty still exhausted at the end of the year because I had, I was tapering down my other model. I was building up this new model. I did 11 retreats that year, which was way too much. So over the years, I've been able to distill it down to this quarterly model. And that's what I do now one per quarter, and that's what I recommend my clients do. And what that does is it means that you're only ever filling one retreat every 12 weeks, which means that if you want 10 people at your retreat, you only need to sell one person a week, or you know, actually less than one person a week will fill your retreats with 10 people. And that's kind of where I like my clients to start. 10 people per retreat. Once you can deliver a massively transformational retreat experience to 10 people, then you can start looking at how to scale that up and how to add more people. And by the way, that's my advice. I recommend rather than trying to multiply the retreat and do more retreats, I recommend figuring out how to get each retreat a little bit bigger because that really creates a really a nice rhythm. There's something to be said for having the rhythm of one per quarter that I've seen again and again really works for people, especially women actually. So the thing to consider if this model sounds appealing to you as a side hustle is when are you gonna do your first retreat? That's a huge thing. And what I recommend doing is put the date on the calendar, give yourself at least 45 days, and then start checking out my other videos on how to build and launch and run your very first retreat. And if you'd like some support with that, you can go ahead and download my free resource, the Retreats to Riches Roadmap, which you can get at retreatstorichesroadmap.com, or you can click on the link below. And that's gonna walk you through the seven key steps key categories of things to focus on in order to make sure that your first retreat is joyful and transformational and most importantly, profitable. Enjoy.